In this video I will show you how to transfer the animated camera from 3D Max to Unreal. We will increase the number of frames to the desired value to about, to about 300 frames per second. Select the camera and the camera target. To do this, go into the perspective view. Select the target. Switch to the current camera. Set the slider to 300 frames. Press Set key and fix camera position in last frame. Set slider to 0 frame. Shift view. Change frame. Switch to Auto key. The camera moves and creates an outer key. Move and fix the camera. This creates the animation that you see now. There are many ways to create animation. It is assumed that you are not novice and know how to create animation in 3D Max. Switch to the advanced animation functions and create a camera trajectory as shown in the video. Select the keys and click on the liner animation. The animation must be without acceleration at the beginning and deceleration at the end. You can choose your own type of animation. Check how the animation works. Everything is fine. The animation runs exactly the same trajectory. Now we will isolate only the camera by switching to Isolation mode. Save the camera and its animation in the desired format. We will need to plug in UE4 camera tool. Although it is for Unreal 4, the plugin works just as well in version 5. Drag and drop the plugin. It will be installed. Let's write the name of the plugin in the search box. Select from the list the camera that we want to transfer. Click on Clone and Bake New Camera. An error will pop up. It is normal. Click OK. The camera is copied. Once again, run the same plugin. It is animated. Everything is correct. This camera needs to be highlighted again. Select the camera from the list and click Clone and Bake New Camera. Wait a while. Its position has changed. That's OK. The main thing is that we see that keys at the bottom and each frame will be occupied. The animation has moved. Its movement will be on a different axis. We don't need to rotate the camera. We invert it in Unreal. Click on Export and then on Export Selected. Sign it. Save it as FBX. A save window pops up. Check Animation and Cameras. Export is done. Switch to Unreal. We need to create a sequencer. To do this, right click the folder content, then animation, then level sequencer. Sign the cameras as you see fit. I just add a suffix. Double click sequencer and look for the key icon. Open. Click Import. Export it and select the folder you just exported. In the window that appears, check Force Front CX and click Import. The camera is transferred.
By dragging the slider, we see the animation playing. For the animation to play at its own pace, we put the slider at the beginning and click Space. FPS drops because a lot of objects are loaded. Go to Layers and disable multiple layers. The animation plays smoothly. Trees can be turned back on. The camera can be accessed through perspective, but it will not be displayed correctly. The animation is saved in sequencer. The camera becomes in the correct position. To select the camera, repeat the steps shown in the video. Select the line with the camera name. The settings contain all the functions. You need to adjust the camera. We need to change the radio aspect. It can be found in the camera settings. We select the 4K quality. The rendering will be faster than in other programs. Play the animation in a different resolution. The animation plays with a slight lock. You can set it to 60 FPS. When the last frame is reached, the camera position will be lost. Just push the play button. Let's move on to the next lesson, where we will improve the reflections.